For months now, Aid on Your Side has been investigating its consumer ripoffs associated with the government sanctioned PACE program. It funds home improvements and then places that loan debt on your tax bill. But now there is an alternative. Tonight, Aid on Your Side investigator Mark Douglas shows us that the option that costs homeowners far less than the PACE project we've investigated. Sylvia Thompson is finally getting the new air conditioner she desperately needs but never thought she could afford. I can handle the payments and it's great. Thompson is paying about $8,000, including financing, for a top of the line system under the so called Self Fund, a nonprofit home improvement financing program that she calls a blessing. I saw it that way. A blessing, especially considering that she has one son with cerebral palsy and epilepsy, and another one who's autistic. And she also cares for two small children in her St. Pete home. It's hot right now, but it'll be on today, tonight. I'd be good. The nonprofit self program is funded by government grants, churches, and private investors. We're actually building a loan around their ability to pay as opposed to pushing a loan on them that is beyond their means. Our investigation of the unrelated PACE home improvement program revealed a lot of homeowners borrowing beyond their means. We uncovered one contractor who hired two convicted con artists as his marketing team and another contractor who charged a customer more than $125,000 for a roof, insulation, and air conditioning. Truthfully, I'm sickened by it. Um, it, it the, the folks that we're trying to help are some of the, the most vulnerable population. The SELF program is now partnering with Hillsborough County and St. Petersburg to help more people like Sylvia Thompson with unsecured loans that, unlike PACE, won't endanger their home ownership if they fall behind in their payments. Working class families in America right now are already struggling enough. We most certainly don't need to have unscrupulous contractors coming in and, and putting their home at risk. Sylvia Thompson says thanks to the new AC unit, her epileptic son's health is no longer at risk either. She says it's medically necessary for her son, and at the price she's paying, she can afford it. In St. Petersburg, I'm Mark Douglas, News Channel 8. As a result of our investigation, Pasco County is now clamping down on unscrupulous contractors and PACE loan providers. Hillsborough County is also conducting a top-to-bottom review of consumer safeguards in the PACE program. If you would like more information on the SELF program, go to WFLA.com or the News Channel 8 app.